Busi Bedez used a social media earlier this month to declare that his protracted legal battle had come to an end after a court dismissed his federal gun charge. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. He became emotional at the moment and said he was going to celebrate by taking his family on vacation. But now it appears that he might be back where he began. He claimed to have been indicted on X earlier today. He says he has been slammed with a new charge and is still facing the previous one. He claimed that he got a call from his attorney while he was out on the previously described vacation. His trip was really ruined when they told him he had been indicted. He also claims he was charged with having a handgun in the possession of an addict. Why you didn't charge me with that the first time? He wondered. The judge has ruled. Busi went on, insisting that this must be unconstitutional and accusing the federal prosecutor Michael Weed of having something against him. This shows how far these devils will go to try and stop a successful black man with a voice, he also added. This man has a serious vendetta of hate against me. It remains unclear exactly what this means for Busi's future. Clearly, he wasn't expecting this. Charleston White and Busi Bedez have previously clashed. In general, White has a history of falling out with many hip-hop musicians. In the end, he is a well-known figure on the internet who understands how to gain attention. Sadly, he has been barred from attending certain events and venues because of some of the things he has stated. This was exemplified by the cancellation of one of his appearances by the owners of a comedy club in Louisiana. White was furious about this at the time and believed Boosie was involved. Then he went on the internet and said he had called the federal authorities about the rapper. Fans were unsure of whether to accept the strange show or not. Say I understand, like, certain <laughs> shit that you do, there's gonna be consequences behind. When Boosie Bedaz appeared on Vlad TV recently, he was questioned over White's remarks. Evidently, he found great amusement in White's purported ties to the FBI. Nevertheless, he did offer White some insightful guidance going forward. Can't expect to say, fuck every Asian, I hope every Asian die. In summary, he advised White to use caution in his speech. Even while it is protected by law, there are nonetheless repercussions for your speech. And going into the biggest Asian city in the world, not expecting nothing to happen. White hasn't really demonstrated, though, that he is aware of this idea. In any case, it doesn't appear that Busi Badaz is that concerned about White. He is aware of White's strategy, and it doesn't seem that he intends to further it in the future. Thus far in 2024, rap feuds have completely taken over the news cycle. Two significant feuds have taken center stage. A heated back and forth between Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion earlier this year was ignited by a single lyric from Megan's song Hiss. A larger fish arrived a few months later, after Like That by Future and Metro Boomin caused a significant inflow of beef. Drake and Kendrick Lamar were at the center of everything, but so were Future and Metro as well as The Weeknd, J. Cole, and Rick Ross. Quavo and Chris Brown, however, were also taking some fairly harsh jabs at one another during that back and forth. That's fighting words. We gotta fight. It's a shoot. <laughs> Boosie Badaz discussed Brown and the former Migos rapper's rivalry during a recent Vlad TV interview. He talked about the specific instance when he thought things really got out of hand. It's the most grating shit you can say about somebody. The severity of the dispute significantly changed, he noted, when Chris Brown asserted that Quavo should have died rather than take off. When we see each other, hey, hey, bro, like, come on. According to Boosie, just that remark was probably enough to push the argument over verbal exchanges and into physical altercations. Boosie Badaz has engaged in numerous rap duels. Even though he later claimed that he and Plies were on good terms, he spent the majority of the 2000s at odds with people like T.I. and Plies. Louisiana hitmaker thinks very differently than one may think about the ongoing spat between Drake and Kendrick Lamar. On May 6, he took to social media to criticize the two rappers' handling of the feud. He also made a point of disparaging the fan bases of both players. The outburst happened on X, which was once Twitter. Boosie began by saying that an excessive number of supporters are hoping for Drake and, or Kendrick Lamar's demise. Boosie continued by saying that he has been questioned by fans about his opinions of the fight on several occasions. It seems that he is growing weary of responding. Additionally, he expressed his desire to prevent any rapper from jeopardizing their incredibly prosperous careers. I never see seen so many men excited to see men tearing each other down through music, he wrote. The men are more excited than the women lol. Do y'all really want to see one of these great artists' career done cause they lost a rap battle? He asked his followers. Do y'all want all what they have done for hip-hop overshadowed by rap beef? They talking about children, baby mamas, dirt, fiancés, molestation, pedophiles, etc. Boosie continued by saying that he has been questioned by fans about his opinions of the fight on several occasions. It seems that he is growing weary of responding. Additionally, he expressed his desire to prevent any rapper from jeopardizing their incredibly prosperous careers. I hope y'all don't think these artists and crews snake hands and smiling when they see each other, he added. Nobody go be safe in the next artist city. Not to mention when other artists start picking sides and getting involved SMH that's when ST get serious. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.